everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really nice gift bag which is made from acetate. Now I'm trying not to move it too much so that it catches the glare of my lights but you should be able to make it out there. It's really really nice. The idea is you would fill this with tissue paper or a present wrapped in a similar colour or design to the papers that you have used and I just think it's really really fun. Also it's a really nice keepsake I think afterwards you know there's no reason why you can't keep that displayed or even if you're into making mini albums or any kind of more paper crafting gifts that would look really nice to keep it in here. You imagine a mini album and that's actually where you keep it. I think that would look really nice. So lots of ideas for this one. It's using the Fairy Tales collection by Dovecraft. And this here is the decoupage. So I'll be showing you that in a moment, but it's the decoupage paper pack. Really, really nice. And this one just says just for you. I've used these on my own butterflies. These are just the acetate um, 3D ones. Um, but I'll be sharing some other ones with you as well. And there's the back with the handles. I've just put the little flat back pearls, which are also part of the collection. And you can see inside I've finished it off there as well with matching papers. And yeah, I really like it. I think it's lovely. So for this one, sorry, lots of plastic, lots of glare in this tutorial, sorry. I'm going to use the blue butterflies this time and these are from the collection because I think these are going to match well with the papers. I'm also using one of these bows. They're the flat back pearls. Again, all of this collection is on my Amazon storefront which will be linked in my blog and I'll link it below as well. These are the papers, so that's the fairy tale paper pack and then this is the wonderful decoupage pad. Now I do love the decoupage pads that they do. Loads of gorgeous little layouts there that you put together and that's the one that I've used for that bag and then the one I'm using today is this one I've already made it up and it is where is she and it's this one here at the back really lovely one with the fairy there so that's what I've done this is the acetate I'm using this is the 12 by 12 acetate by do crafts you get a pack of 10 I got this for a bargain I think it was four pound and nine p from a place called Trago Mills which is near where I live in the southwest so I know that that's not going to be somewhere unless you live down here that you would be able to get it from but I know this is stocked online so I will look for as many people selling it as possible I'm just trying to see what the microns are or the weight of it but it doesn't say it just says 12 by 12 acetate but it's really strong lovely lovely stuff so that's what I'm using today. So like I said, I've gone ahead and prepared my topper piece here. This time I'm going to have this as a gift tag actually hanging from the bag, whereas that one there I just stuck it onto the centre. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do it, but I have already gone ahead and done that one. I've got a template just because we're working with acetate. I can show you what I'm doing on this white piece here. And then I've gone ahead and already prepared all of those pieces, which I will talk you through along with the handles as we get to it. So yeah, you can see there's a great big glare, but I've got here two pieces of acetate. So imagine these are now my two pieces of acetate. In fact, that is a different size. So you want two pieces that are nine by 12. Okay, so two pieces of nine by 12 acetate. And along the nine inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch. Ignore this, because this isn't quite the size of the acetate, it's just so you can see. But you're gonna score along the nine inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch and at eight and a half inches. Okay, so they, those will be the score lines, which you can just about make out on this piece of acetate. I move that there, can you see? There's my half inch and there's my eight and a half inch, okay? Then you're gonna rotate it along the 12 inch side. So this is it on top here and you're going to score at four inches. Okay, so I know that's different, but it, it was purely just to see how your score line should look, but you're going to score at four inches. And again, you can just make out that score line there. Okay, so you want two pieces that are like that. Then you want to burnish all of the score lines. So acetate's a little bit different. You have to kind of really work it, first of all. So I'm just going along there and just carefully folding down. Like I said, this is really thick stuff. It's lovely. It's really nice to work with. And then again, along that one. So I'm just going to do the other piece. Okay, so those are my two pieces of folded and burnished acetate. Next, we want to create these side pieces. So these bits, oh, these ones here. And all you need 
is two pieces of five by eight. Okay, so these are from that paper pack, so it's the full width because it's an eight by eight paper pack, and then I've just cut it down there to five inches in width. Now, on both of them, you want to score along the five inch side, you're going to score at half an inch and four and a half. Okay, so half an inch and four and a half. Okay, and that is now all the scoring, so I can get rid of the scoreboard. And you just want to burnish those two sides, and then you want to add some double sided tape. Now, because we're working with acetate, I find it best to use the red tape. So I've got this roll here, and I'm just going to run, kind of making sure I stick to the outer, as close to the outer edge as possible. I'm just going to run one up there and again one down this side and do that on both pieces. Okay and as always just go over and you will see if there's any white underneath it will turn that darker red colour and that means you've got all the air bubbles out. Okay so they're ready to stick down. Then we've got this piece here, which is going to stick on the inside here. And this piece measures this piece measures seven and seven eighths of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch. So it's just shy of the base size, just so you've got a little bit of a border and it doesn't kind of buckle or catch on any of the sides. So I'm just going to run again because you're sticking this to acetate. I'm just going to run this red tape and also do two of this size. So you've got one to do underneath just in case anybody does look underneath. They're not going to see any just, you know, double sided sticky tape. They'll see some nice paper. You might just want to use plain white. Okay, so I've actually just changed this up and realized I thought about this when I made the other bag up. You actually want one piece of acetate, which is going to be eight by 12. So one piece will be 8 by 12, okay? The other piece will be the normal size, so 9 by 12, all right? With the 8 by 12, along the 12 inch side, you're just scoring at 4 inches. That's all you need to do on this piece. You can see there, I folded it in half. That's all you will have. So you'll have no side pieces or nothing, okay? Then on the other piece, it will look like this, so this template. So it will have those side pieces. You will score along the nine inch side. You'll score at half an inch and eight and a half, just as I showed you at the beginning. But instead, you want to remove these two long ones and just keep the bottom small ones here. So you can see I've still got mine on here. I will put a little notification in at the beginning of the tutorial um, because I'd done it this way originally and then I changed it whilst making it and I, I just... When I prepared, I totally forgot that I had taken this out and decided to do it a different way. So I'm just removing, and you'll do this anyway on this same piece. So this bit hasn't changed. You're just removing all of these longer tabs and you're just keeping the short ones at the bottom. And the other one, like I said, will not have it at all. And that will be a slightly different size. So just bring the scoreboard in just so you can see so you've got this piece now it's just got those tabs on the bottom here okay you can just see them there and like I said the other one will be just like this but without these side pieces so sorry there for that bit of confusion but yeah one will be 8 by 12 one will be 9 by 12 and a 9 by 12 you do the scoring just as I said Okay, then all you need to do with the acetate is on the one where you've got those tabs is you want to add some of your double-sided tape. You can see there I've just taken a little wedge off of the sides as well. Keep it nice and neat because you will slightly see these pieces and that's why I changed it up so that you wouldn't see hardly any acetate. Okay, and again just make sure you get all the air bubbles out. So what's going to happen is this one without any tabs on is going to stick right over the top of this bottom piece here. Okay, so we'll put all the tape on that in a minute. And then these tabs are going to come up on the side. 
okay and then we're going to stick our paper around here so first of all so you can start to see this a bit better I'm going to add double-sided tape just to the bottom base of that piece of acetate that has no tabs on it. It's just that plain piece with that one score line. So I'm just going to add my tape around the four sides. And then some just through the middle. And this is just a nice gift bag size anyway, so even if you don't have acetate, you can still make this gift bag. You just imagine all these pieces here are just um, different coloured papers. Okay, so now you can see that acetate better. There's that half inch, so that's that four inch score line. That's the 12 inch side, that's the four inch score line. I've just folded it and on the underneath part I've added all that tape. So now I'm going to just take off all of the backing. Okay, and then bring in this piece with those side tabs and then very carefully, make sure you've got no hair, any dust, any bits underneath this. I mean, it's going to be covered anyway, but when you're working with acetate, you want to make sure there's nothing that might get caught underneath, especially if you don't want it to be seen. And then just lie that down, so it should all marry up. And then make sure you get all those air bubbles out. Okay, so you should only be able to see it slightly there. So now you'll see we've got the two front and back now, two sides to our gift bag. Then grab this piece here, your pattern paper, and that's going to sit over the top inside and put your base on as well. So I'm just going to stick that down and again just kind of hover it over because it's slightly smaller but it should all sit in there nicely and again make sure it's all stuck down. Then grab one of your patterned papers, obviously make sure it's the right way up and just work with one side at a time. So first of all I'm just going to take off this backing here and you're basically going to stick this, so this score line where you've folded there, you want the edge of your acetate to lie to sit perfectly in that. So try and sit it there first of all. I'm going to bring that piece in so it doesn't obstruct it and then I can kind of line that up. This should run flush with the bottom of your you know your table so just run that along there and then you should be able to just slowly line up everything else. Now if it does come up a little bit higher you can trim that afterwards. So there we go. I'm going to pop that on its side and just again all out and then take the backing off of your little side piece here bring this round and then stick it down so just fold that up pop it on its side and again make sure all the air bubbles are gone out this is the only one you're going to see but it should become quite translucent anyway you won't really see it. Okay, so that's that one. Then take the backing off of this side and again bring up this acetate, make sure it lines up with the score line. And just fold that around. on its side and do the same. Like so. And there is one side of your gift bag. So hopefully that's made sense. So again with this one make sure you get your pattern up the right way. Start with one bit at a time. It's so much easier to control. Fold that bottom one in on itself. Make sure the base is flush with your table and then just go in And then again with the front one, and there you have it. Kind of push in the sides like that, just so you get that kind of bag effect at the front. But that is 
the same as that one so you can see now how they come together so that's really really easy and now it's just down to decorating which is all the fun part so I've got two handles here which are three quarters of a length by 12 I think or was it 11 it might have been a four length actually yeah it's 11 and just under 11 three quarters or 11 inches will be fine so whatever your kind of default a4 paper is and then I'm just going to run just kind of cover I guess an inch at each end with again the same red tape because if you're using wet glue it just it won't stick to this um, unless it's a special glue that will obviously adhere to plastic so I'm just going to stick on that one and again at this end sorry I was out of shot there just a one inch from the bottom there or thereabouts. Again, it doesn't matter too much. You can see there what I've done. And then just curve the cardstock slightly and then you're going to stick it, obviously that heart, that one inch down, just making sure it's nice and equal. So I'm going to do one side first, so that one's about there. And I'm just going to measure, so I've come in two inches so to bring this one over two inches so I'm going to be sticking it just there okay and then I'm going to be sticking these over the front and then I've got plain ones to go on the inside there so it looks nice from both sides you can see on this one here and you can see it inside there where the plain one is these measure I think it's my one inch, yeah, my one inch punch. So you need two, four, six, eight of the one inch punches, and then I've got half inch punches on the outer ones just inside here. And you would need just four of those. And then these are the flat back pearls which match the collection. I put some tape on the back there, and I'm going to go and get that all stuck down. Okay, so there you have just a really nice plain gift bag. There you go, without the glare. Isn't that cool? So, like I said, you can stick this. You can see how nice that will look in the middle. But I'm going to just try this one just hanging. So let's have a little look. So I'm just going to... Okay, so just about there. I'm going to just snip off the top and then just have that hanging down like so. And then you've just got a really nice gift tag there. And I think that looks lovely. I've got red backing tape stuck to everything. But there, you can just about see it. Sorry, it's been really hard for me this one. Because I just I hate that glare in the pictures. And I know it can be quite off-putting when you're watching. So, yeah. So that's the one with it just hanging down plain. And then that's the one there with it stuck on the front. And you've got the butterflies. Oh, that was what I wanted to do, was add my butterflies so these ones here so I'm just going to take off the top one I think I'm just going to have the one and I'm going to add a little bit of red tape because I've just removed it from its actual sticker because I as you know or if you haven't seen I prefer them when they are on their own rather than with the holographic backing and then I'm going to stick this one kind of flying off up the top there so you've got that hanging down and then you've got that one flying off up there and they just again because they're acetate and plastic and on this it just looks really nice and it's, it's quite a fun texture and it's something a bit different so you imagine that filled with a nice pink tissue paper with a lovely gift inside or like I said a little mini album or something like that I think that will look really nice so there you go two really fun gift bags they measure four by I think it was eight wasn't it four by eight so again really nice size as well and um, yeah just unusual using the acetate so I will share the links to that acetate and all the links to all the other papers and the all the accessories as well that I've used along with the dimensions because I know I changed the acetate sizes through the tutorial but hopefully it made sense 
and I'll also put the templates up as well. So there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.